What's good, everyone? M. Joe, 23 Dan. So this right here was something that I saw on social media, uh, particularly on Instagram. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and share a clip with you of what exactly I'm talking about, and then we'll go ahead and open up this box because I'm pretty excited about this one. I sold this pair um, in 2007 and I want it back <laughs> so uh, I'm not gonna say what pair it is um, all I know is that it's extremely rare and I regret selling it back in 2007 so all I had of this buyer was a name and address and um, no social media no email um, no PayPal nothing he sent to uh, when he bought it at the time it was a money order and so, you know, the only information I have is uh, is his address. So um, I haven't handwritten a letter in like quite some time. So that's what I did. Um, it might be an extreme way to, you know, try to be able to attain a sneaker. Uh, maybe not too extreme, but old school. So uh, that's the way I'm going about it and uh hopefully it comes through we'll see i just want to update you guys and let you know the story on you know like what's happening and how i'm gonna try and obtain this sneaker that i once sold and all that jazz so so now that you saw the video i'm gonna go ahead and show you what the contents are inside this box this is a sneaker that i sold i regretted and i'm glad to finally have it back um, I don't typically do a lot of unboxings on YouTube, but this one I wanted to share the experience of first time seeing it again um, live on camera or on camera. So let's go ahead and open this up. So I saw this from Instagram user um, Skate the Great, sorry, and uh, he had the size. It's not the same exact sneaker that I sold. Um, it is used. Uh, the one that I sold was dead stock, brand new, in the box, with the original box, and damn, uh, glad I have this back. So, whew. it's it's it, it's used. It's beat. I'm gonna have to clean it up, of course. But man, am I so really excited to have this back? So, this right here. is the Sang Shoe from 1985. So it is a knockoff Jordan 1, but it's a legitimate company as I stated in my other video. So if you really hadn't get it, gotten a chance to look at that, um, go ahead and click up here in the screen and you can see uh, what exactly the history is about the shoe and all, all of its whereabouts. So, wow. So here it is. This is the uh, Sang shoe, it's a knockoff Air Jordan 1, but um, as I've stated in my previous videos, it's it's a very like well done shoe for a knockoff. I mean, this was before the time, I guess, that um, you know, they regularly started doing that with the Air Jordan signature line, but um, you can see, you know, that the Air Jordan 1 is iconic to the Nike Dunk. And, you know, Michael Jordan was an up-and-coming superstar. So, um, I'm pretty sure, you know, with this, and then there was another, um, I think it was the XJ5000. I, I know there's other there's other models that try to replicate the silhouette of the Air Jordan 1. So, this, um, to my knowledge, what I know is that this shoe has only been done in the white and red, white, red, and black inspired colorway. I've never seen any like black or red versions of the shoe, but you know, um, let me go ahead and give you some up close details so I can uh, get you guys a better look. All right, so here we go. These are the Sang shoes from 1985, and uh, just like how I remember it, but you know, of course, a lot more cleaner. Uh, the leather is just awesome. Uh, there is yellowing on the midsole. The outsoles could use a clean. Um, you got that traditional arrow 
uh, in place of the Nike swoosh. And this right here kind of explains what that arrow is all about. The Sang name and arrow stripe represent the finest sports shoes. And it also says made in Korea. So, uh, you know, the shoe is, you know, and you can see inside here, it's a bit dirty. But, you know, I'm, gonna, I'm planning to clean it up. Um, but overall, the upper and, uh, you know, the midsole, it looks like it's in really good condition. There is a bunch of, you know, there is heel drag at the back. But, you know, just something just to, like, kind of display and have in, back in the, in the collection, I think it's just, it's just proper. It's fitting. It's, it's giving me closure to, you know, finally have something like this in my size back in my collection. Um, I don't believe that these are the original laces. The laces that I had before were white. Uh, these seem to have... Uh, it does have that old, older look, but I don't think these ever came with black laces. So uh, let me just go ahead and show you what those laces are about. And then the uh, aglets, it's got like a white uh, tip there. So uh, it's just gearing to me toward that these are not the original laces so I'm definitely gonna throw in some white laces here and uh, make it a little bit more true to what I remember and then uh, of course you know doing a whole cleanup of the shoe but you know there is the um, in place of the wings logo the Sang uh, logo right up there and then just to show you the inside tag man I can't believe I actually have these these guys back in my collection so there's the inside tag 0027 uh, made in Korea, size 10. On the underside, there's nothing. Uh, on the insole itself, it does have the size stamped right in, size 10. And then no branding on the sole. It's just plain, but you know, you can you can definitely see that Dunk Soul, Air Jordan 1 Soul inspiration. So, you know, this is a really good leather. Thick cuts of leather, genuine leather. Uh, you can see with wear, it's kind of softened up a bit. Um, I do plan on doing a video of a comparison between the original. I do have the original uh, Air Jordan 5 from 1985, or Air Jordan 1 from 1985. So... Uh, I do plan to do a comparison between this this guy and uh, the other one, but man, is it just so humbling to have this back in my collection? It's just so awesome. Um, again, it it just brings me closure to uh, have these guys back, and you know I've been tracking these these shoes uh, ever since 2007, from the moment that I had to let them go, and uh, although it's not the dead stock pair that I had complete with the box damn complete with the box guys um, you know it's it's really awesome to you know have it back and you know in, in pretty fair condition so alright guys so thanks for checking out the video uh, I appreciate you sticking by me and uh, just hearing the story that I had about these shoes and um, you know coming back nine years later and grabbing the shoe that I sold, regretted, and now I have back in the collection. It's just really awesome to, you know, come full circle and get these guys back. So I'm sure you guys have stories about that and, you know, sneakers that you sold. You didn't want to sell them, but you had two at the time. Um, again, I'm really happy to kind of have these back in the collection. So um, again, I'll have a video of a comparison between the 1985 Air Jordan 1 um, you know the OGs and then maybe do a comparison with these guys just to show you you know what the differences are with these and um, all that good stuff so uh, you know follow me on Instagram follow me on Twitter follow me on Periscope uh, again if you're not subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel um, I, I'm gonna try and pump out a little bit more uh, videos and uh, just a combination of things you know maybe from the collection uh, to restoration, to just thoughts about the industry and all that. So, again, it's MJO 23 dan Thanks for tuning in, and I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.